Following Governor Sarah Palin from Alaska, the state ethics investigation uh, continues over her firing of a state official. We've just gotten news of a development on that front. NBC Savannah Guthrie is up north in Wasilla, Alaska, with the latest. Savannah? Hi, David. Well, we've heard now from the Senate and House Judiciary Committees, which are looking into this matter of whether or not this trooper that used to be married to Sarah Palin's sister uh, was fired, or excuse me, wasn't fired, but whether his boss was fired because he refused to fire the trooper. It's a twisted, tangled tale, and there's a state investigator looking into it. Now, the report on this was supposed to be issued on October 31st. That's the Friday before Election Day. And, of course, that date was set long before Sarah Palin was part of the Republican Republican ticket. In any event, the committee now says it will move up the date of when it will issue its final report to October 10th, so three weeks earlier. And the reason the committee says it's doing this is to avoid the appearance of a so-called October surprise. They're trying to, they say, depoliticize this and make it clear that they're not trying to issue this the release essentially on the eve of Election Day. The other development is, is that this committee will now issue subpoenas for witnesses. The committee says that seven witnesses who had previously agreed to testify voluntarily have now said they won't, thereby necessitating subpoenas. And so this committee will meet in a special uh, session next Friday, September 12th, and plans to issue subpoenas for seven witnesses. Now, the McCain advisors think this whole investigation has become very political. They think this is the basic definition of a political investigation. They say uh, the lead Democrat on this committee is out there making statements to the press, that the committee is leaking investigation uh, material like emails and so forth. So they also think that it's uh, no mistake that this press release announcing this earlier date and the subpoenas is coming the very morning after McCain delivered his acceptance speech. They think this has uh, got politics written all over it. David? Well, Savannah, it is interesting that the press release, which I've just been handed, has a Republican from Alaska supporting the move to get the investigation done ahead of schedule. But in any case, uh, boil it all down for us, never mind sort of the intricacies of who was fired. The, the thrust of this investigation, correct me if I'm wrong, is did did Sarah Palin abuse the power of her office by firing the person in charge of the state police? Is that it? Yeah, that's the bottom line. This guy, Walt Monaghan, was the commissioner of public safety, so he oversaw the troopers. Sarah Palin's family had had longstanding problems with this trooper, Mike Wooten. They claimed that he made threats against their father, for example, and violated various uh, rules and regulations. And so there were a series of contacts that were made to uh, the troop, either Walt Monaghan, who's the head of the troopers, and other people in the, the, um, in the state trooper organization. The question, of course, is did Sarah Palin abuse her office by Okay, well, we're losing our picture there from uh, Savannah Guthrie, but one other thing that uh, Savannah had reported earlier, which is worth noting, and that is the committee has said that it'll take its sort of interview from Sarah Palin and that it can be over the phone, that she does not have to return to Alaska, and that the lead investigator will either meet uh, Palin on the campaign trail or talk to her over the phone to get the information from Sarah Palin. And again, earlier this summer, Sarah Palin said that she welcomed the investigation and uh, urged people to go ahead and hold her accountable. She has said, she has insisted that she did nothing wrong. In any case, we'll get back to uh, Savannah Guthrie later this afternoon.